Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. I am a new mom and this video is 10 things that you need on your baby registry. Really, they're 10 things that work really well for me. Every baby is different and what's gonna work really well for your baby may not work really well for my baby or somebody else's baby, but I binge watched these so I thought I would make a video like this. So I'm gonna talk about 10 things that I really, really recommend putting on the baby registry. As far as where to post your baby registry, I used Baby List. It's really awesome because it's like a one-stop shop for all the people that are going to your registry. You can build a registry at Target, Amazon, Bye Bye Baby, wherever you want to build a registry, and you can import all of those to Babylist. So this isn't sponsored by Babylist or anything. I just found it to be really convenient. I have gotten baby shower invitations that have had like three, four, five links to different registries. And so this is just really nice that you can just send one link and people can just go to one place. Okay, so this one was right in front of me in my kitchen. So we're talking about it first. This is a drying rack for all of your baby stuff. It's good because you don't mix it up with your other stuff in your other drying rack. So it has obviously these plastic blades of grass like things that aerate from under. So you don't have to worry about things not drying when you put them down flat like that. You can also add to it this little little accessory. It's a flower and it just goes in there like that and you can pile little things on top of it. You can get as many of those little flowers as you want. Oh, what is this? Excuse me. I don't know what that is on my counter. So I do recommend this. When I got it, I kind of had it in the cupboard and I thought I wasn't really going to use it, but I've got it out and it's been great since I've been pumping and using a haka and all of that. So the next thing, it's actually here. This is a haka. It has a lot of water spots on it. Actually, I should fix that. But anyway, I was using a Medela pump and I put this aside also, not thinking I would use it so much but I stumbled on a couple of videos on how to use this. I will put some in the description box below. If you'd like me to do one, let me know. If you'd like me to do a breast milk, breast feeding video, let me know in the comments below. But this has been amazing. You just suction this onto the boob you're not breastfeeding from and you can fill up a lot. This is a four ounce one. They come in different sizes. I have filled it all the way up to the top before. So this is also a recommendation. It is amazing. Okay. So you can see, I just nursed him and I got two ounces. And then I have another thing while I'm here, this pacifier. So this is the one that I find to be the best, mostly because it's lightweight. I'm really lucky. My baby takes most nipples. He's really not fussy. So the nipple is one of those flat, shaped nipples which is supposedly really good for newborns especially but what's really great about this is it's really really lightweight so it doesn't fall out of his mouth there are others that he likes just the same like this one but this one's really heavy the not really heavy but the plastic part's pretty heavy so it just falls out of his mouth as he's lying on his side trying to fall asleep so that is three things right here that I recommend for your registry. And while we're on the subject of pacifiers, this is one of the things that really lives up to the hype. This is the Wubbanab. This is a nipple that he takes. Like I mentioned, he is not fussy about what the nipple is shaped like. I'm very, very lucky. And then I got the lion. There are all kinds of different stuffed animal attachments that you can get. I have seen so many people recommend this, but no one really described why it's so great. I didn't really figure it out until I saw my baby using it. What's wonderful is is that he can be laying here, say his head's here, and he has it in his mouth and he's sucking away. And if he lets go, it doesn't just fall. So he can find it on his own really easily, even though he's just a few months old. So that's why these are amazing. They're like 15 bucks at least. So definitely put that on your registry. The next thing I recommend for your baby registry are these animal alphabet cards. They're high contrast alphabet flashcards, and they are awesome because I was looking up high contrast cards for my newborn because their vision isn't so great and that is what they can see and stare at and be fascinated by our high contrast things. And so this is out of order. I use them all of the time. So they have the letter on one side and then they have animals on the other and he loves these. He really couldn't quite focus on them until he was about maybe six weeks old, maybe a little older. But now that he can, 
I get about 30 minutes of entertainment out of these cards. The other high contrast cards that just have like squiggly shapes and stuff, they were like 13, 14 dollars. These were 20 dollars, but I figured I could get use out of these for much, much longer as my baby starts to learn the alphabet. So I invested the extra seven or eight bucks in these, and they're really, really sturdy, really well made. They're going to last as long as I need them to. So these are awesome. I highly recommend these. All the links will be in the description box below. Okay, so the next thing that I recommend is a bouncy chair like this. They have really, really expensive ones. This one was a gift from somebody. It wasn't on my registry. I didn't put it there, so I'm not sure how much this costs. This looks similar to the ones that they have available at Target, so I'll find some similar ones. It is, let's see, ingenuity and it has these buttons and you can turn it on and it bounces and it also has music and it also mimics a heartbeat so this has been really awesome he didn't like it at first but now that he's a little older and he fits in the seat better he loves it well he doesn't love it but he keeps them quiet long enough for my husband and i to eat dinner together that hadn't happened in a while reliably before that so at first maybe up until about two months it didn't fit him comfortably in the past few weeks it has been working out really well. So next we have a play gym. Once your baby can see a little better, it's really, really helpful to have multiple places to put them down so you can go and do stuff obviously with them in your line of sight so that you're supervising them. This is really great because it's appropriately called a play gym. They can lay here, they can practice lifting their legs and rolling from side to side until they can roll over and they can reach up and practice reaching and grabbing for things with these things hanging here. Before I had my my baby I had no idea why this was a good thing so that's why my son can actually lay here for a good 20 minutes and be entertained we have obviously his little tactile toys and things like that it's great and they're like 60 or 70 dollars so you can throw it on your registry but I definitely definitely recommend having one of these let's talk strollers this is obviously a different day this is weeks later I am finally getting around to finishing up this video I researched far and wide for the perfect stroller that was affordable, five stars, no complaints at all, perfect safety rating, and it doesn't exist. I spent hours researching. So let me save you some time. Just look up something that's good and that you feel good about. I chose something that's four and a half stars, good enough safety rating, and it's a Grey Co, which is a well-known, well-loved brand. They've been around a long time, so I figured it was reliable enough. So I'm going to get into showing you mine. Obviously, everything's linked below, so you can go and you can dig a little further. If you want a more in-depth review of my car seat and stroller system, then I can do a separate video, but I'm just going to go over it very quickly, but I will show you which one I bought. Okay, so this is the Grey Co Snug Ride 35 Infant Car Seat. It is affordable. You can get it in packages with certain strollers. It clicks into the car seat base. You can take it out and click it into a stroller. So this is the simple stroller that you can get. This was like $70. I have another one that it clicks into as well, but it is so simple. You just put it here and it clicks in and it's in. You heard that click and that's it's just so easy. So you get it from the car to your stroller so simply. I will show you the other stroller we have as well. Okay, so this is the jogger stroller. I'm in my laundry room right now, so it's a little cramped. So I'm getting as far back as I can. Ignore our recycling and all of that right there. I really, really like this. It The car seat also clicks in here. So you can put your baby in there and it's nice because it's all terrain. So it has like bicycle wheels. The only complaint I have is that we have to inflate those fairly regularly so my husband does that <laughs> and what's very cool about this one is it will work when he is a toddler so I do like this and we have longevity out of this one so these are super affordable check them out in the links below I am very happy with them and I feel like he is safe in these the next thing you really really need is one of these baby monitors this one's absolutely fine we put it on the registry and one of my friends super generous and got it for us I think it was about $110 this is so crucial. There are apps that you can get if you have two phones. You can put it on your phone and then you put one phone in the room with the baby and then you have one phone on you. It works pretty decently. It doesn't have video. It has sound, but this has just been awesome, especially in the early days for peace of mind. I would look at it and I would focus really hard to see his little chest or stomach rising and falling with every breath and it made me feel a lot better as a new mom. So definitely, definitely need to get one of these. 
the thing about this one that was kind of interesting so the camera is mounted on his crib and we got it and they kind of bribed me for a review it didn't come with the camera mount initially but there was a card in the package that said email us for a free gift so i emailed them and then they responded saying here's your free gift and it was a camera mount and then they said please write us a review so it was almost a way to try to get a review out of me it's fine i ended up getting the camera mount and i wrote them a review and this works really really well i like this one i do and then here is the camera part mounted onto his crib so you can see it just lives there. This is a portable sound machine. It is awesome. The first time I put it on when he was a few days old, he quieted down almost immediately. It is so soothing for him. We just use this one. Some people say you should get the portable one and you can get a non-portable one for the nursery, but this one's been just fine. When we're not elsewhere, we keep it plugged in in his room and it works just great. So I don't think you need both, but some people say you should get both. So if you want to get both, go ahead and get both. And right next to it is a humidifier. If you live where it is dry, I do recommend getting a humidifier. My baby has surprisingly dry skin. It's not super, super dry, but it does help. It also helps with his mucus, his boogers in his nose to keep them looser so that when we need to aspirate them, they come out a little bit more easily. And then an air purifier. We live in fire country, I guess you could call it California. It has been so helpful to have this during the fire season this year. Our fire seasons are getting progressively worse and it just brings me a lot of peace of mind to have this in his bedroom. Sorry for the lighting, his room's a little bit dark I guess. This thing, I don't know what to call it, this thing for your bathtub for when you bathe your child and you put your child in it and it is great. This will work until he's probably about six or eight months and by that time he'll be able to sit up and I can get in the bathtub with him without this but this is great. It is so so helpful and I think it's one of the cheaper ones. I want to say this one's like 20 dollars and they have other ones that are like fancier and kind of what do the kids say extra if you will so i recommend this one this one is very very straightforward and i love it now i want to talk about wraps some babies really really need to be wrapped and some babies don't need to be wrapped so much so my son i think i mentioned that he has been a fairly easy baby i'm really really lucky well i'm not trying to impress anybody with good looks in this video obviously this is very realistic this is how i look most days most times being a new mom especially during coronavirus and I don't go anywhere anyway my son didn't need to be wrapped in any special wraps for the most part we use just the straight up muslin wraps which maybe if you're a new mom you don't even know what I'm talking about there I'll go get one okay so this is the standard muslin wrap also known as a receiving blanket and this worked for me for the most part my son when I would go get him in the morning he was pretty much always out his arms were always out and he was free but it didn't seem to disturb his sleep there's the startle reflex that babies have and a lot of babies get really disturbed by that and they wake because of it. So some people like to go a little bit more intense with their wraps and there are some wraps that are really, really tight, but some babies really do get much better sleep if they're wrapped like that. My son didn't need it, but I do want to recommend trying this wrap. This is a stretchy wrap. It's super stretchy. It's cotton with a little bit of well, probably cotton with a good deal of spandex. Okay, 96% cotton, 4% spandex only. So these are actually kind of pricey. Baby stuff is so pricey, so I highly recommend checking places like Ross. So because this is stretchy though, you're able to lay your baby in it and then pull and then stretch it around and you get, oh, hello, and you get a much tighter wrap because of that. So I recommend seeking out the stretchy wraps if you are trying different kinds of wraps and you don't want to go straight to the really intense wraps, but you want something that's going to be a little bit more secure than just this muslin wrap. I'm going to go get the door. And then I recommend putting some halo sleep sacks on your registry. You basically just put the baby in there and it's literally like a big sack and you zip it up. It's so much easier than wrapping them. So we stopped wrapping my baby a little bit early. Again, he sleeps pretty well. This is kind of the way you graduate from wrapping. You can put them in a halo sleep sack again. These are really expensive. So go to Ross, try to find these things at places like that, or put it on your registry and let somebody else pay full price and get it for you. They're very expensive. Baby stuff is so expensive. Okay, and then lastly, I wanna talk about a simple requirement that I have for the clothes that he sleeps in. So at first, I didn't really realize how helpful this was, but what I'm talking about is a zippered pajama 
onesie. It is just so much better than fumbling with those snaps on PJs for babies. I don't even know why they still use snaps on them anymore now that this is a thing. It is so great. Put some zippered onesies on your registry or at least make sure that you buy some zippered onesies. Yes. So that's it. That is my 15-ish things I recommend that you put on your baby registry. I hope this was helpful for you. If you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing and I will see you in my next video. Bye.